Hey, hey, everybody. Hello, and welcome to Massively Overpowered Television, where we are starting the week off today with a big skill update change thingy reset. <laughs> Elder Scrolls Online's update 29, ooh, it's getting old now, <laughs> is now out. And if you guys haven't downloaded the update, don't think you're getting in in a few seconds, but it's not nearly as bad as I actually thought it was gonna be. So, that that was that was a little surprising to me actually but here we are elder scrolls online monday and so we are well heading into elder scrolls online i'm not gonna let a little update detour me from going in and beating up on some bosses because that's pretty much what i'm doing beating up on bosses and i'm going to be joining my friends so there is an event going on well there are two events now i think but one specifically where you go, you beat on world bosses and get tickets. And then I don't remember what the other one was when I logged in, but it's something to do with something. I don't know. There's something on the page that says something. I just kind of ignored it. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm here. I'm ready. Make it so that we can hear everybody gooder. Don't go confusing chat with all those specifics. Jeez. I, <laughs> I know. I, I just gotta, gotta be careful. You know, you don't want to over inundate somebody with information or facts or anything like that. I mean, come on. What would the world come to? <laughs> hey, Gong. Good to see you today. All right. Oh, I need to finish logging in. I just like this screen. I'm just sitting here staring at the screen, going. That's so pretty. All right, everybody make sure you caught my password there. Oh, that's really kind of funny. That actually didn't type in there. Where did that type? That would be funny. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if I remember my password. <laughs> I've been placed in the queue to log in for 30 seconds. Thirty seconds. So I went in earlier today and went to go get a screenshot. Because all the screenshots I tried to take during this last week are not there. Nope, they're nowhere to be found. It's like, lovely, thanks a lot. Oh, wow. No, I guess I'm not going anywhere, am I? I'll just sit right here on the loading screen. La, 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 la. So I did my second attempt at making turtles today. But the chocolate needs to set, so... Caramel set much better today. Fortifying meals, yay! I'm just after that crown. I want that crown. Alrighty, I guess I actually need to go back. Oh, how many coins do I have? Do I need to spend soon? I do. Um, oh, you know what? And I didn't see how many more days on the loading page. It's 14 hours. 14 hours left? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll go spend the five and get the last... Thing, I need to make a new pet again. I'm just gonna feel bad if they never make anything through all the events that I want to forge this little pet into. But I'll have all the pieces to make a new pet. There wasn't anything else I wanted to buy, so, you know. Didn't seem worthwhile. So I hear they did not reset your attribute points. 
which I guess I was kind of looking forward to that since I didn't pay much attention to allocating mine. <laughs> Maybe I never even spent skill points. I don't know. We'll never know now, will we? All right, so I can get technically four more tickets if I can get today and tomorrow early. What manner of fabricant sheds a... All right, so I've actually gotten two style pages out of my rewards. There we go, we'll buy that. Alright, are you guys- ooh. Oh, big reset. No more group, right? Is so anyone at reason. one of the... Whatchamacallit sites? Oh, and by the way, let's look at this. I have... 21 slots open in my bag. Oh, it looks like that little red sign means my stuff needs to be repaired or it needs to be, what was that? Shove a soul gem or something in it? Uh, the little red sword yeah. and arrow thing down there. Yeah, soul gem it. Soul gem it. Do we know which one? It's a sword, it's a weapon. So we gotta check your weapons. Okay, I realize this shows my absolute stupidity at the game, but where does it say whether it's charged or not on here? It's the bar. The bar! Oh, you mean the empty thing is probably not supposed to be empty and just decorative. Oh, like that! It's supposed to be colored blue! Oh, thank you! Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's interesting. It looks like all it is is a piece of decoration separating the top from the bottom when there's nothing in there. Alright, charge it. With... Oh, wow. Hmm, so many soul gems. Does it matter? There's no difference between these, right? Not really anymore. Oh, look at that. It has a blue bar as well now. Nice. I should pay more attention to stuff like that. <laughs> Wait, I have to insert two of them? No, just one. What? Oh, I just hit charge and... Hey, RPG! Okay, so now... Apparently I still have 21 attribute points to spend. Should I go ahead and spend them too? You have 21 attribute points that you haven't spent? Maybe. No wonder we can't do those dungeons. Oh, all it's doing is giving me a little extra magicka. It doesn't affect my healing. Oh, shush, Toaster. Shush! Stop bringing facts into my day, I tell you! I don't need none of that stuff. 
Uh, so 10 health. Well, I mean, I, I'm a healer. I don't exactly need a lot of that. But I can't... I don't know why you said I should have 54. Because I don't have 54. I can only do 49. Level to keep 10 health. Well, I'm not max level. Alright. We'll commit the points. Look at that. All committed. Uh, so, I actually went and took screenshots of what I had. But now is my chance to switch if I wanted to. But. Like, I really like summoning my, my monsters. RPG, I played a game until I realized there were points to spend. Yeah. This is nothing like some games I do, though. Alright, so... I did... The screenshots of... Of my build. So, I could just go and mostly just do that again. I like summoning my pets. Although when we're running sneaky through things, sometimes my groupmates don't like my pets running around. All right, here we go. Your pets are not sneaky. No, but I love my big monster dude. And... So basically, it, it tells you what I've learned them up to. Already. I just don't have the points spent in them. Don't lose the XP and the skill that you've gained. Oh. It won't tell you which ones you were you know, particularly using, or which morph you had, you know, done until you get to that point. Oh, I didn't check about my morphs, but... Pretty sure... It's not gonna be that bad. Because I don't think I had that many choices. Oh, the, the screenshots are going to show me the morphs? Okay. Alright, so I had my unstable familiar. Uh. Yep, yeah, it definitely looked like that one. Once someone would activate a special ability to heal you, and it scales off your weapon damage, this one was... Want someone to activate his ability to pulse area damage and stun enemies. You know what? I'm considering going the other direction on this one. I, th I think I might go the other direction on this one. What do y'all think? The volatile with the stunning enemies? Well, now's the time to try it. You get two weeks. If you don't like it, you can reset it. Oh, really? Yep, three resets for the next two weeks. Oh, sweet. All right, well, we're going to morph him. And, of course, my winged. And I we picked with her, I think, this one. Nope, not the healing. We picked this one, the tormentor. Damage bonus. Wait, didn't he still look like a dinosaur? <laughs> Wait, does he not look like a clan fear anymore? Type of thing you summon. It should say that on the tooltip, though. Oh crud! I'm getting the well. Okay, I got two weeks, and I can change it. I oh, I love my little dino.
All right. Oh, what else did I have? Next page. Mage's Wrath was my main one. Oh, I think that sounded storm calling. Yeah. I don't think I had anything in dark magic. I gotta... Well, not that I showed off anyway. Okay. Alright. Oh, wait. I forgot. Oh, snap. I didn't take a picture of my passives. Just trying to remember which ones I had. Max health by 4%. I think I had that one. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, I had rebate two out of two. I can see that, but I can't see farther down. All right. I had capacitor two. All right. Mage's Wrath. What are the differences here? It restores magic if it dies after the ability. Increases damage dealt. No, let's stick with damage. No, I had lightning form, but I don't use that very often. Maybe I shouldn't buy it right now, just in case. Right, you go there. You go there. You go there. All right. All right. Healing strings? Springs. What's this one? Summon restoring spirits, healing you and allies in a target area. 12, 17. Increases healing done in duration. Oh, actually, wow. What about this one? Apparently, last time I had the one to restore Magicka to every friendly target. This one has more healing, though. Oh, but this one may be a good idea, considering how low I go on Magicka. Probably, huh? A little bit longer and a little bit more healing, but... I think we're going to stick with that one. And... Yes, we definitely... Bought Steadfast Ward. I know I didn't have Essence Drain. Um, probably... Oh, missing this one. Okay. 
heals two additional targets versus ticks faster. No. Alright. All right, these two are actually swapped. There we go. Ah, cycle of life. Increases healing by 8%. That actually sounds like a good one. All right, destruction staff is next. Oh, looks like I had Looks like I had all of these. Really? Only one level of them though. What do we have in here? Fully charged Inferno Staff deals six damage. Grant you shield damage. Ooh. Oh, increases chance to apply elemental status by 50%. That actually seems pretty good. Um, wait, 59 doesn't mean I have 59 still to spend, right? That can't be right. Can it? Did you say 59? Uh, up at skill points? Yes, you still have 59 to spend. Wow, okay. Let's get down to my armors. Oh, I noticed, okay, I have all of these. Well, those are all the screenshots I managed to get. <laughs> uh, so I have 50 more points? Crikey. Stealth detection radius? Sure, I'll be better sneaky. Um, all right, so I guess I can up all these in case I use my. I don't use my destruction staff very often, but 
Let's make sure I have everything on here, I guess. It's for siphon. <clears throat> well, apparently I have more points that I'd never spent, so what do you guys think I should be? I guess I can go ahead and get my lightning form again. Oh wait, I was saving some for crafting at some point, but I don't think I need 45 considering I've never crafted anything. Yeah, you can't even spend 45 in crafting if you have done no crafting. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking for the restoration staff. I guess, but I mean, I don't use these, so it feels... You know, we should definitely unlock that. I don't know that I ever do any fully charged heavy attacks. So... I mean, I, I really don't even manage to do those, so it seems like a waste to buy those. this lightning form change into Manifest yourself as pure air. Nearby enemies dealing wind damage. Whereas this one stays with a storm. Have either of you played with the morphed lightning form ability? Probably a while back, not enough to be useful.
hurricane. Well, the bottom one actually makes you run faster because your movement speeds by 30%, whereas the other one is Alright, well there I've maxed out the restoration staff stuff. I don't really do destructive staff with us doing hardly anything. <coughs> Maybe I'll save some of those and see if I'm going to if I'm going to do any damage ones. Damage enemies, burning, chilled or concussed. Interrupt spells, putting caster off balance. See, I've never run any of these. I'm pretty sure I did something with the elemental blockade, but... No, I didn't. Damage shields immobilizes chilled enemies. This is closer down to how many skill points I still had to spend. All right, we'll save a few for crafting. Got the weapon. I've already got everything from light armor. Oh, no. I don't think I had anything in medium. Oh, there we go. Excavation. I forgot to take pictures of those. Wait, what is this? Oh, ledger domain? Sneak? Scry. No, he's isn't. <laughs> Additional turn at scrying. What do you do if you soul trap? It's for filling soul gems. Oh, I mean, I was trying. I just wanted to see what the um, morph was. A 
affects additional enemies, but for less total damage, or... Hmm. Oh my gosh, what's this, mage light? <coughs> oh hey, that's kind of cool. <coughs> Ooh, undaunted, what do I got here? Blood altar? A fountain of blood to apply minor lifesteal to enemies. Oh, that's a interesting heal. Webs? Oh. Spawn broodlings? Huh. Alright, I want to get that mage light. And I don't really care about Alliance War. So, okay. Well, we got a few extra skills. A few extra skill points to decide if I'm gonna... What I'll do in the destructive. Are you guys in a group? I haven't even had any dairy, but I'm still having coughing trouble. Boo. <coughs> uh, yeah, but when I do the second bar, I don't normally have the pets with me, so... So let's go ahead and do that still. Wait, where are your skills? All right. We'll go ahead and keep you. Which boss did... oh wait. Do you guys already have a, a boss quest? I only have one from Clockwork, it's the Imperfect, so... Shall I go see if I can get crows? I jumped to you, so I... Doesn't third party member speak? Every? Yes? Asked if you had any of the boss quests? No, I do not. Okay. Let's see if it gives me Paper imperfect or crows. I have a contract reflecting. Imperfect. Reflecting. <laughs> so another task reflect travel to 
Let me see what happens to me. I mean, not that that's a bad one. Wreath of Crows. Oh, shall we do that? What do you think, Tannic? It's up to you. Just let me know and I'll drop the one I have and never can share it. Sure. I'll drop mine too. Alright. I have dropped. Chocobo David is next to me. I'm guessing he's played some Final Fantasy. <laughs> I don't know whatever gave me that idea, right? Are they a chicken? No, he's not a chicken. Feels like he should be. Quest has been shared. All right, I got it. Did that share with you out where you are, Tannic? Yeah. All right. Chocobo David, huh? I don't hear him. If there's no Chocobo music, then he's an imposter. All right, so. I mean, here I know I've gotten both these bosses. Vardenfell, I'd like to see if I can pick one that I haven't done yet. With my luck, it'll definitely get one that I already have. They died too fast. Good Gulf the Oblivious. <laughs> Darth is asking if anyone else had their brain meltdown after messing with the CP system. I don't even know where that is, and I'm pretty sure I haven't had anything to do with it, so... Does it count if I had my brain meltdown hearing Darth describe it? Oh, now I was hearing Darth describe it. That sounded pretty uh, intense. I haven't looked at it yet. Am I the only one who gets loading screen when running the boss? Yes. I mean, I've what is never the... gotten that, so... Why does this keep happening? My pets are summoned, Toaster. They're right there. <laughs> and you're right. I'm not sure I like the little imp. <coughs> now, if you reset, does it reset everything and then I have to go through and respend everything again? Or can I just reset certain ones? if I don't like the skills that I have right now. Haven't looked into it enough to know. Do it selectively at the shrines. All right, thank you, Toaster. Now, I've actually gone through and chosen, well, I have three sets that I really want to wear, but I can't, I can only wear two, so it's kind of a mix at the moment. I still have the frost because I love the frosty 
heal. I love the frosty heal. There are too many people here. There's a chance I won't even get credit. I'll just keep putting a heal circle down and hopefully it'll heal at least one person that's attacking the boss. Hey, Super Mega Killer Bot King Man! I like your name. I feel like I should sing it. Super Mega Killer Bot King Man. Oh. But I like the name. Wait a minute. Four did not do what I thought it should do. Four is not doing what I thought it should do. And I am lagged so much I can't do anything, so I hope. Boss is dead. So I, I didn't even see the boss. It was there and gone in a burst of lag. Yeah. the la That lag was bad. Did you both get credit? I did. Oh, I accidentally put the shield here instead of... Okay. That's why it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. Put the wrong one in. There we go. There we go. All right, so you did get it, Tannic. We can take off. I didn't think I was going to get that for sure because it lagged and I couldn't even put a heal down. I was like, all right. Hey, bad Transformer fan fiction references are totally welcome here. Darth, I was going to brave reading the ginormous patch notes, but chickened out. <laughs> Uh oh, well, that looks like oh. Did I miss one, or are you guys all just? We're just waiting. One of two. So the sets that I have been um, deciding on. So I took off my crafty Elfique. I had a couple pieces of that just for the Maxim Magica. But the ones that I have currently, I've got War Maiden, some of War Maiden stuff on. One, because just the armor pieces I got were so much better than what I had. And I've kept the uh, Winter's Respite. And the other one is Mad Tinkerers. I started Mad Tinkerers so I could get a verminous fabricant that charges the enemies and doing shock damage to everyone in its path. Knocking them in the air and stunning them. It just sounds like fun. But I need to put on two more of that. And at the moment, I can't because I have a couple of War Maiden items. And I had to change back from, I was using the Mad Tinkerer's Maul, but then I didn't have enough on the Respiration, uh, no. Restoration, which one was I doing? Oh. Yeah, the War Maidens. If I used War Maiden, which is much better, but then I didn't have enough, um, whatchamacallit's. Winter's Respite stuff. 
The other one that I was really liking was the crows, but that was really focused more for somebody wearing leather and stamina based, which makes me want to be stamina based a little bit. Um, because I had a whole bunch of purples, you know, high level gear for unfathomable darkness. Two of two. Um, yeah. So, restoration, or, or the unfathomable darkness, if you could get five pieces without really doing armor, I guess you got necklace, ring, ring, you'd only need, and the staff, I'd only need one more, so one more medium piece, maybe? A murder of crows every three seconds to peck your closest enemy within 12 meters of you. That one is actually... I feel like having a, <coughs> but then that's the restoration. That's not the, if that was the destructive staff, then I'd be like, oh, cool. I could make that the destructive set. <coughs> but it was the restoration staff. And it's like, well, crud, uh, for the restoration staff, I actually need, ugh. So, I had two others that I was interested in that I finally talked myself into selling. Now I feel like I want to go back and rebuy the Unfathomable Darkness ones. Maybe just like a hat or something. I no longer sent. Verified. I have no task. Alright. Of course, I think the buyback stuff will be long gone. Your deeds ripple. Oh, wow. Uh. Oh. Do you have to actually go to the correct vendor? That you sold stuff to? Because the unfathomable darkness stuff isn't here. Oh, maybe I sold it two times ago instead of last time then. You have a house to fill? Because none of my unfathomable darkness stuff is here. Crud. Okay. That's all right. Let's open up these two boxes that I got. I've already collected that. Got a motif. Um, coffer. See, I've sold a number of Livewire things, too. Now, Livewire had an interesting one. So, I mean, look at the magic damage. What the flip? That is so much better than what I'm using. And it, it improves healing taken, your health. But at five, you overload. You give a concussion to enemies. And then, oh, no, this isn't the one I was looking at. The other one I was looking at had a, what's the, oh, you like increased healing to, for people around you by like 10 or 15%. So that seemed like a really good idea, but there wasn't enough live wire stuff to make it worthwhile. That's a good magic damage. And yeah, the problem is, is I'm one piece short on the winter's respite. I actually changed out that staff and then had to bring it back because Oh, anybody need Evan Shadow axes?
Moon Sugar Distillation Set. Oh, I got like a teddy bear the other day. I totally didn't want to sell it. Come to see my stock. I didn't want to sell the teddy bears. And a study buddy. Combination record holder, chin rest, eyelid spect speculum for apostles whose studies can't afford to be interrupted by sleep. <laughs> uh, I still have my Prophet's Inferno staff. Life wear, but that's what I don't need. Okay. Oh, are you guys in Vardenfell? Am I being too slow? No, I was just running around here doing a second quest so I could just turn it in tomorrow morning. Oh, nice. Yeah, I totally forgot a daily in another game today until, like, just before this game started. But I we did get a good chunk of work into preparing the uh, kitchen for the new kitchen floor. So... All right. Oh, when I went down earlier today, I looked at what quest it could give me because I wanted to go take a picture of a boss, right? So, oh, what am I doing? I don't want to do that. And it gave me one that I'd never heard of before, but I'm like, no, I don't know that one to go take a screenshot. So I just ran to another one. So I have no idea what it'll offer me. All right. Let's see. Plenty of jobs coming in all. Well, here's a nasty one. Ever seen a hunger before? Looks like there's one causing trouble in Silipan Grange. Oh yeah, Appears it's the hunger one to me again. Newly discovered ruin, and some researchers need help killing it. The notice sounds quite panicked, actually. Head to Silipan Grange, gather some relic pieces, and try to take care of the hunger that's protecting the area. Tivina Avani should be in the city with more information. Nervous little thing. She'll have your pay once you're done with the task. I don't think I've had that one, so I grabbed it. A Creeping Hunger. Dude, that little imp might be better for things, but I miss my dino. Hmm. I miss my dino. Devours many cookies. <laughs> Great name. Devours many cookies. So where are we headed? Uh, someplace I don't know. What was that, Danny? Can you share it? Yes, yes. A creeping hunger. Did it share to you yet? Yeah, it should tell you when I take it. I only, yeah, I only saw it, um, Every's take it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um... 
Okay. Well, it looks like it's right in between two way shrines that I have. Unless there's a closer one by some weird... No, inch left thing's the best one, I think. <clears throat> Super mega, the weather here actually got above freezing for a few moments. And then tomorrow, and for three days, it's going to be in the 50s. Before going back to the 20s. So... I'm hoping that the parts of the sidewalk while walking little guy to school that I fell on again yesterday um, luckily didn't hit too hard because I when I went down I kind of threw myself down in the snowbank to the side of it so I didn't jam my knee as bad as I could have I would like for that stuff to be taken care of the worst part is the snowbanks are so high between the road and the sidewalk that even when all the snow and ice melted on the sidewalk, it was a big puddle. And then it froze again, which turned them into giant sheets of ice. You should carry a small bucket of kitty litter with you and throw it out as you're going along so that you can just walk on it. <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah, keep moving. Oh, are you guys already over there? Oh, yeah. oh, there. Okay, I see you now. Actually, I was looking around for you guys. I was looking on the oh, top to see where your little symbols were, and it wasn't there. Mega, I live in South Texas. Absolutely do not usually have trouble with cold weather. Yeah, but... Yeah. Toaster! <laughs> Did you guys see my tweet about the Shmi letting me touch his belly? For two days now, he's been letting me touch his belly. And Sounds he was, really creepy. He was holding my 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 hand. We, pause. We're holding pause. He hasn't been one to... Um, like snuggle on you very long or anything yet because whoops I didn't mean to take that um, just he's been a stray cat for two years you know oh he's so pretty I love flames lava and fires <laughs> so pretty I'm hoping my next next winter that I have the library room opened and the fireplace working. The second fireplace... Oh, that got it for everybody. The second fireplace is never going to be workable. It's going to have to just stay decorative, apparently. There's also a tree growing out of the top of it. You guys, in Boss one month, up. I'm going to be having Oh, that's the hunger. Oh! That's that's the dude that comes out and plays with, from your armor set, right? Yep. Now you know what he looks like and why. Why is my screen green? All the small hungers? Is that like poison or something? Yeah, Shmi apparently just kind of sprawls out on me like... 
I've already collected that, collected that. I guess I can just sell those. All right. More relic bones. Just one this way. I'm really sad because there's one more cat down at the lumber yard where we got this one from. Um, and he's a black cat that actually looks like a large mix of my two other black cats, both Mila and Honey. He looks, he's got Honey's face and it, like Mila's nose, but uh, no. Mila's face, but Honey's straight nose. I mean, it seriously looks like their brother. And he's a bigger cat. And I really wanted to give him a home. They say people have been shying away from him because he's uh, FIV positive And he's just living there at the lumber store. And it makes me so sad. He's so loving. He comes up to you and just rubs into you and loves you. And but my family's like, Mom, <laughs> we can't just keep getting the new ones. We have five cats already. So my daughter is the two Korea cats. We have the two black cats. And then my son has adopted Shmi. From the lumber store, by the way. Which, apparently, I'm just not going to be allowed to go back in that store anymore. Because they have this spot, this big, big, beautiful cage. And just uh, one of the rescue places here highlights cats in the cage to get them adopted here. But he's so loving, and he's a black short-haired cat, which is initially really what my son wanted, but... But Shmi was there first, and he was very loving. He's just very fluffy. I've never had such a fluffy cat. It's so tempting. I just want him to find a good home. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the cat. You just shouldn't house him with other cats unless they're all FIV positive. But they have wonderful lifespans, and they're loving and wonderful kitties. Oh, and he was found because somebody found him that he'd been hit by a car, and so they took him to the vet so that he could be cared for. And that's how he ended up in rescue care. It just made me want to give him more lovey. So I actually go there, and I, like, pet him and stuff. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. See, I need to win one of those, the Publisher's Clearing House. Oh, it's like, make a difference in your community. You know, we've upped it to 14000 a week for life, right? So help me, if I won that, I'd be buying a couple of houses and making giant cat sanctuaries. Hire some people. Just make a big, beautiful cat sanctuary house. Oh. And rescue all the kitties and go spend all day loving on the kitties. Oh, yeah. I would so do that. <laughs> I'd totally be a crazy cat lady. I'm, I'm not going to wait till I'm old. I'm already a crazy cat lady. Although, technically, two cats are my daughter. Only two cats are mine. Two are my daughters and one is my son's. So, theoretically... I'm not even close to Crazy Cat Lady yet. We are a crazy cat family. Yeah, we are a crazy cat family. But, I mean, come on. There are five of us and there are five cats. I mean... Let me guess. You ran away. Honestly, I can't blame you. You... You actually did it? You defeated the hunger? I defeated I the hunger. That. Thank you for the help. We'll be sure to contact you if any other horrifyingly grotesque creatures show up. Maybe I should start saving up for that bakery. Yeah, 
And let's open these boxes. War Maidens Breaches. Oh no, that's right. These are the Hall of Justice. Yeah, I found out one of the reasons my bag was full is because I had like 15 of those. <laughs> now I already got the War Maidens hat. Alright, do either of you need... Let's see. Let's see, we'll link, 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 pretty sure I got another, did I get another War Maiden's hat? I was certain I, oh, there it is. Let me know if you guys need any of those to... Yep, the second one does does make sense because I, <laughs> I had to permit the chat, sorry. I mean, as long as you're taking care of them. I mean, I've seen people that just, you know, they... They house too many and then they, they don't care for them and there's, you know, like one lady back where we just moved from, she's a nice older lady, but her, her trailer was basically lined with like pee pads for the pets and stuff to go on and I just, that was too much for me. But she would take in injured and old and, you know. <coughs> cast off animals and loved the daylight out of them so they were loved and they were cared for and she actually went and got a job even though she's in her 70s she went and got a job so she could pay for the vet bills but it was not pleasant going inside the house did either of you need uh, any of those things I linked in chat nope every uh, no. All right, then I will. I So I've started this amazing new trend of marking as junk. So then it just goes away and sells. I've just started doing that amazing new thing. All right, I have two divine things which I want to uncraft. So I think I need to do that. Oh, okay, you didn't need War Maiden's Breaches, so I'll do that as well. Well, wait a minute. This War Maiden's Restoration Staff is definitely significantly better if I were to use it. But then I'm down on my winter's respite. Do I have something that's War Maidens that I can swap out? What am I wearing this War Maidens? I've got the breeches. No, I've got the breeches and the coat because they're so much better. Mm. I guess I can get rid of the the mad tinkerer's necklace 
That'll put me back up, but then I'm only down to two Mad Tinkerer's items. But I don't think I have anything Mad Tinkerer that's high enough to replace the War Maiden stuff. So I've ended up keeping some of my items, like especially the jewelry, and here I have the shoulders, just in case I swapped out parts that I would have something to get my uh, winter's respite back up. But this might work. I'm just, I haven't, I haven't worked up to the Mad Tinkerers yet. I need to get enough Mad Tinkerers pieces. But that means I need to figure out where I got the Mad Tinkerers from. <laughs> Is that, oh, add 666 Magicka. That'll, that's nice. Um, is it? Um, oh, there we go. The Unfathomable Darkness thing that I also had was a shield. Which I'm never going to use a shield, am I? Because I use a two-handed staff. A Mad Tinkers is the Clockwork City stuff. Hey, cat! Alright, so I've got that so far. So I can come over here to Every's can I help you? And just go and sell the junk. Wait, she doesn't have a sell junk button? Wait, what? Wait a minute. Are you on the sell tab? Well, all she has is a sell tab. Yeah, you, she doesn't do a buy. Oh, okay. All right, well, that's okay. It's still easier when it's all on this page. Once I decide I don't need it, then I can just... Yeah, I just... That's what we've been doing, Toaster. But we've been running between the two, and I wasn't... Well, I guess Clockwork Tinkerer, you know. My brain should be able to. How have we been streaming for 120 minutes already? An hour and 20 minutes, not 120. Wow. Because the first, like, 40 minutes was zero points. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we spent the points, some of them. But that's not too bad of a looking, too bad looking of a staff. So now I guess I've got, I've only got two Mad Tinkerers currently. I have, oh geez. I haven't gotten any bracers from anything. I mean, that would be nice if I could get some bracers from one of the sets. Do any of the sets do bracers? They all do. Cause I have not come across any. Oh wow. So there's a slot I can replace with something, either Mad Tinkerers or um, War Maiden. Or if I get a good Mad Tinkerers, you know, robe or breeches or something. Winter's Respite. There it Respite, Respite, I'm not sure which one it's actually using. I need to get higher level of those. Where did we... Where were our fights where we were getting that? That was in Greymore, wasn't it? Pretty sure that was Greymore. Yes. Oh, daily reward boxes. Ugh. I'd have to go do dailies. Every can you hear me? Yes. I heard you say yes that time, Janik. Thank you. 
If you said one before that, if you answered me the first time, that one I did not hear. But I did hear this latest one. Okay. So I've ruled out spider cultist, even though that was one that I was originally going for. I don't remember why. I think because spider cultist, the bonus was destructive staff. And since I rarely use the destructive staff, it seems not as efficient to go for that, you know? Let me see here. Lord Vivek visit All right, yeah, no, that doesn't have it anymore. It's already sold off, but. <laughs> so Tannic was the one in here while I was trying to narrow down. And, oh, this sounds good. And he's like, oh, good, you got a couple. Oh, this sounds good. Okay, you got three. Oh, this one sounds really good, too. Um, this isn't helping, MJ. Oh, what about this one? That's too many, MJ. <laughs> I didn't, I narrowed it down to five sets. And it was like, no, that's not helpful. So I am down to three. That's good, right? I guess I'm gonna have to go do some Graymore daily soon. To try to get higher, um, higher respite stuff. Poor MJ. <laughs> After the event ends, you're gonna go back to, uh, you still have some Graymore stuff to do, right? No, we finished it. I mean, obviously yeah. we can go back. All the side quests are still there. We just finished the main storyline. Oh, well, yeah, but we haven't done side quests like from the beginning of the game, so... Okay. Besides, I like having our group in. You know, Banished Cells, too. I, yeah. I or you spend all your points. Well, I there's no more I can spend in the healing. The only place I can do it is in the destruction destruction just great destruction staff and crafting. So I I don't feel like there's much more I can do with those points to help us in that respect. But I maxed out the restoration staff stuff. So. And I do have better gear, too. Yeah, this Graymore skull cap that I got it is actually considered part of the winter set, which is cool. And that set also gives me a lot of magicka, which is helpful. All right, so I'm going to go, I guess, to Ardon because that's the place I can remember best. And I need to go to a crafting table and disassemble? No disassemble. Is that the wrong term or did I? No, sorry, it was a bad 80s movie reference. Oh. <laughs> It sounded familiar, and I wasn't pinpointing it. Short circuit. Ah! Oh, it's been too long since I've seen that. There are just some movies that I want to just, I want to go back and see once the library room is set up, that's where the TV's going in and everything, and all my movies, and I can just start having movie nights or something. I don't know. Just looking forward to that. Dragons in your own homeland. Oh, deconstruct is what it's called here. I think, right? Yeah, 
You know, it's actually really sad because crafting had been one of my favorite parts of MMOs. Crafting stuff to be useful and being part of a whole trade thing. That literally was one of my favorite parts of MMOs. And I, I'm just not a fan of any systems anymore. And it's just like, eh, it's too much. Not worth it. Um, all right. I might need... All right, do I go to a specific table if I want to deconstruct something? What's the thing? Yes. Armor. Armor. If it's light armor or medium armor, you want the clothing station. If it's heavy armor, you want the blacksmith station. I believe it's heavy. After I find it. Yeah, the, the blacksmith station with panel click and anvil around the center of the area you're in, I think. Okay, yeah, there it is. Chest. Heavy. Does anybody want any of the live wire stuff I just linked? Oh! Um... Collected. Collected. Oh! I don't have the girdle. I could collect the girdle. Wait. Oh, there we go. Blacksmithing basics? No, that's a book. Near there, though. It's the one in the corner. The other direction. There. Other direction. That does not help me, Every. I mean, you say oh, other direction, but I know, I know, I know but... <laughs> go to court, there you go. I'm just staying here for now. Right next to it. Is that this the Hanel person? Like, it, it looks just yeah. like that, but the one she's using you can't use. But there's one there that looks just like that that you can use. Okay. Aha! Found it! Okay, so deconstruct. Or wait, it won't let me deconstruct the. Oh, there we go. Armor. Click on that. You have to click on the helmet. <laughs> yeah, it took me a minute. Undertaker. Although, so is it not worthwhile for me to deconstruct um, heavy stuff because I'm never gonna wear heavy stuff, or is that something I could? It just, I saved it because it was divine and I was told to deconstruct divine things. Uh, probably you weren't told to deconstruct divine things. Yeah. I you weren't research divine things. Yeah. Oh, research. That's, yeah, you don't want to deconstruct anything with the, our, uh, with the magnifying glass is research. All right, that's the word, research. Yeah, but you I don't want to research one thing at a time. Yeah, and... I don't wear heavy armor on my character, so I don't research anything in heavy armor. Because one of the things I don't like about the system, as I mentioned before, is you have to research these traits, these, you know, for each individual piece of each individual type. It literally can take you years. So when I, if I research this, all it's going to research for me is the heavy armor chest piece. Yeah, yes. that particular trait on that, you know, type of heavy armor piece. Yes. That's all. It doesn't do you any good on light armor chest pieces, medium armor chest pieces. Now, if I were to do this, could I make a heavy armor thing for my other... Why would I want divine on a heavy armor thing? Okay, so maybe I just want to sell it then. Yeah, I only deconstruct things if I need to level up that particular skill, which in this case it would be your, what is it, armor, whatever makes the heavy armor. So I wouldn't do that either. Okay. So yeah, I usually just end up selling the stuff. 
All right. Well, then I guess he's being marked as junk. Bye-bye. I guess no more you. Um, now, these Crafty Elfik set. Now, this is one that I got from a box. I actually have another box of gear in here that I've been afraid to open because it's going to explode in my inventory, of course. Um, I've collected them all. I kept them because they had big Maxim Magicka bonuses. But that's all. So... Is it worth holding on to them? Or... None of them look like something that I can... Research. None of them have oh. one of the sides that I can research. I have the little magnifying glass next door. No, no, I mean of the stuff that I was told would be useful for me. Oh. This has only sturdy, invigorating, reinforced, infused, well-fitted. Not things I was told was... Oh, okay, so Toaster said infused is good. So the one that is infused... I could go ahead and research. And then just sell the others. Because I'm not going for Maxim Magica anymore. Okay. Alright, thank you for clarifying that for me. Um, now I know that there's still a box of armor somewhere in here. Oh wait, I've got more of these things to get rid of. Let me get... Um, oh, hey, I don't have that one. I have two motifs I should, um, link in chat with you guys. See if either of you need either of those. I mean, I could just throw them into the guild one, I guess. Uh, where is, oh, look at all these crown repair kits. Here we go, a Darlock Bray set box. Now, is that something I should just go ahead and... It says level 40, so I guess the set is never going to go higher than that. Should I just open it and then sell it off after I collect it? Hey, snores a lot. I, I didn't think the respec messed things up too much, but I took screenshots like people had suggested. So I was able to spend stuff pretty easily. And I had a bunch I hadn't spent anyway. So do you think I should just open this box right now and then get rid of it? Because I don't think I'm going to need any of the stamina recovery item. Would that be what you guys would do? It's what I would do, but I'm always trying to keep my inventory cluttered down. Well, I was only saving it because at first I wondered if it would give me gear at whatever level I opened the box. But the box specifically says level 40 right now, so I'm beginning to think that's not the case. What level are you? 47. Yeah, that might not be the case then. <laughs> I mean, I guess I was going to say, well, maybe wait till 50 and see if it goes up, but... I need to just start chugging, chug, chugging these experience scrolls and stuff. I've been chugging my elixirs. These Imperial Charity Rits, I'm still not sure whether... Uh, maybe I should just do a Rit stream sometime, because I really don't know what's up with them. I, I used one. I have like eight more in my bank. I have a whole bunch of them. I've given a bunch away to people. I don't know much about all those. And look at this, all this 
research stuff. Instant all research. Of course, I'm not researching anything, so. And I have a million filigree hoods now. Anybody need a filigree hood? I do love, I do love how this game tells you whether something's in your collection or not. Like, immediately looking at it. You don't have to try to bind it to see if it opens up or if it says you already have it. It's, it's like, labeled. I do love that. Yeah, all those rune boxes from the early years, at this point, I don't even think they sell. So I ended up just chucking mine. Well, the thing is, these last two I got during our last uh, Christmas holiday run. I'd only yeah, had one before, I've but one. now I've got... Been around since the beginning. Okay. Since the first time they ran that event, which is when I got my unlocks for him. Yeah. And I've been holding on to them for years since then. I was like, this is not doing me any good. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, if somebody else wants to answer snores a lot on how... They feel if the respect mess things up. <coughs> it's more like the change in the CP is kind of mind melting. Is the latest thing I've I've heard. Yeah, the the respect of everything else. I actually like it because for weeks I get to play around with different builds without it costing me anything. If I had more characters, I think that would be something I do. Like, I mean, I pulled out a new pet. I just I don't like the little imp. No, I don't want to steal the curious. I want to... Oh, fill sticks. Clothing station. So this is where I then come and research the... Uh... Uh-oh, I, I locked it, so... <coughs> hey, what's this that it wants me to... Wait, is it trying to tell me... <coughs> it hasn't added things that I'm wearing in here, has it? Um, some of them might be. Okay, where's the but one... But it will add things from your bank as well as things from your inventory. Okay, I'll say, so Crafty Alfiq Breaches. Let's unlock that. And let's start the... I think it only showed one pair of breeches anyway. But does it not tell you what piece of gear it is? Like right there it's saying breeches with divine, but... Whenever you go to do it, it'll tell you which piece. Whenever oh, you okay. actually go to research it, it'll tell you which piece. Okay. Okay. Okay, so if I were to do that... So basically, if there are items you want to research, best to just chuck them in your bank because it'll draw on it anyway. I think that's what I did with some of these. I just haven't done it. I think I need to go to my bank and clear out. But not tonight. That's only a six hour. So that's not too bad. Once you start getting higher, it's... What was the piece I linked that you wanted? The girdle. I can travel to you and grab that. Oh wait, you're in Ordon too. Are you right around here somewhere? Oh, hi.
Which hurdle was it? Um. Uh... We're making now. This is sash. Live wire. Yes. Hot toaster's like yes, live wire. I remember all this stuff. <laughs> oh, thank you. And Tannic's right. I mean, when you trade with another player, it doesn't go to the top of your list. That sucks. It should go to the top. I think that would be... That would be nice. Alright, so we'll bind it. And then we'll mark it as junk. See, the shield looks so nice, but I don't know that I'll ever have a... Are there any real one-handed? No, because the magic user staff things were all two-handed, right? Come, do your trading yes. Hmm. Snores, I don't think I've played for six months or so. The update is taking... Well, it was a huge update. So, yeah, that was gonna, that was gonna definitely take some time. But... Oh, heavens! MJ needs to... MJ needs to sign out. <laughs> I've all been dragging you along through all my this, that, and all the others. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for coming and being a part of MJ figuring out what she's going to do. And she got her bosses done. So, yay, I met a new boss called The Hunger, which looked non-appetizing. We'll just say <laughs> And, of course, there was the big update today. It did not seem to be a big deal to me. But that's not to say it wasn't a huge deal to lots of other people. <coughs> I guess it would be kind of fun. I could actually respec. <coughs> I could go in and, like, respec as an archer or something right now, couldn't I? And just play around with that. I would just have to remember to go back to what I was before the free respects are over, right? There's a villain on the <coughs> yep. Oh, the coughing. Yeah, so I was telling people, it's like, now I, I don't have to panic about <coughs> what point I spend now because I can always respec them. But then, like, two weeks from now, I'm going to have a night of panic before it goes back to being costly. Yeah. Yeah. And I would forget about it until the next day. So that would be, that would be really bad on my part. But <laughs> if people had to dungeon run with, oh, yeah, I wish groups weren't just four for dungeons and stuff. That would be nice to be a little bit more. But that is it for tonight, my friends. We have now shown you some respecking. We beat up on some bosses. We've talk to MJ about refining or crud, whatever it was the thing we did and <laughs> and uh, yeah cleared some inventory I'm doing better I'm doing much better I've got on average 20 inventory slots open at all times now so until we do a run and then it fills but then I'm clearing it out after so baby steps everybody <laughs> Research! Thank you, Toaster. <laughs> there is the stream post if you guys want to go in and tell me if you are going to... I want to hear from you. If you are going to take advantage of this free respec period to run around and try to play other things. Let me, though, know. They're in the stream post chat. And we can continue discussing it all there. And, of course, go and check out everything there on MassivelyOP.com from... Uh, notes about update 29 and all the other stuff going on in our MMO verse. There's a lot of stuff out there and mop has it for you. So check it out. Check out our calendar on the front and also the podcast is going up tomorrow, you know, all sorts of good stuff guys. So go there, check it out. The Twitter is also there. If you guys want to converse otherwise, 
or just follow, you know, maybe you don't want to see the calendar and you just want to be surprised two minutes before stream starts. Hey, maybe you like living on the edge. <laughs> I do too sometimes. I don't even know I'm going to stream. No, just kidding. Have a wonderful night, everybody. Monday is almost over. If it's been a Monday Monday, then I'm glad it's almost over. And if it's been a great day, then I'm sorry it's almost over. But we'll be back tomorrow night with more stuff, so stay tuned, and we'll see you then. Good night, folks. <laughs>